Hi, I'm Rebecca Brand. Welcome to Dinner Party Art Class. This is a show where we combine fine food, fine art, and fine wine to form great friendships. What we do is we drink, we eat, and away we go with all that lubrication from the wines into the art studio. So I hope you come and join us, and it's really a lot of fun. Here we go. In just a few minutes, I have all these people showing up for dinner party art class tonight. Ah, I got so much to do. I've got to hurry up and get it going. I haven't dressed yet. <laughs> So funny. Guys. This is the recipe for one great night. That's exactly. <laughs> so Mike, would you like some wine? I would love some wine. Okay. That's part of the fun of being in Rebecca's class is that uh, you can be really as bad as I am and still have a good time. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I write books that I found the inner artist within and he's really, really bad. <laughs> Big guy, you think you could do A lot of romance. It's fun to sit over on the side and watch. I'm a single guy. I talk about being single all the time. Every time. Thank you. So are you. Very handsome. I've got two wonderful children. One of them just got into the law school here at Santa Barbara. This is going to be such a rockin' party. And let's go see the art studio, make sure everything's ready. So we've added our paints. We have our wash colors, which are the primary colors. And we have our Prussian blue for our outline all ready to go. Tonight, we're going to start brand new paintings. So we have our white canvas. We have it all set up. We're going to choose one of these compositions to paint. So it's so beautiful. This is the perfect day in Santa Barbara. And I think we all want to have a picture of it on our wall. I've been going to dinner party art class, meet new friends, and learn to paint. Because I'm an artist, I, I do hair as well as uh, wanting to learn to oil paint. So what I'm doing now is arranging boy, girl, boy, girl for more interest here. So how do we have, oh, James Trinidad should go next to Cindy. The reason why I'm taking up Rebecca's art class is because for the fun of it, and also because I want to meet new people and it's just plain fun. I work for the U.S. Navy. I'm a, I'm a weapon systems engineer. Because it gets fun. It gets kind of crazy. All right, a little wine after dinner, and then we're painting. I love food and Rebecca's hot and she's got this dinner party thing going so I thought I'd come and check it out and the wine was great meeting new people of course there's more right. great looking women there and I'm in Rebecca's art class and I love it I'm very spiritual I do massage I never thought I could uh, paint though I, my mother's a painter but I never thought I could paint hello Hello. As soon as you walk in the door, there's a big hello, great to see you. And it's not just from Rebecca, it's from everyone in the class. I am back in the singles game after a long marriage. Rebecca twisted my arm and the energy just doesn't stop. With the wine and food connection, one of my passions. You're going to skip the art tonight? You're going to skip the art tonight. Okay. Mark, exactly. come on. It's optional. I know, only the I'll bravest observe. paint. I'll observe. I'll observe. I'll cheer you on. You'll be the supervisor. I don't think you need supervision. That's oh, Rebecca's yeah. job. And I'm there for the social aspect. Dating in Santa Barbara is a great challenge for everyone. Male, female, doesn't matter. Trying to find something new, something different, is more than a challenge. It can be an impossibility because everybody knows you from somewhere, somehow, some way. Surprisingly, in a town of 100,000 folks, I got to meet some people that I hadn't met before. Obviously, I'm not there to paint. And yes, I hear I've been called the chicken. And this is her chicken. Cluck That's like me. a chicken. Cluck, 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 cluck. <laughs> but the wine, the food, and of course the awesome flirting that goes on in that place. Oh, Janine's got some razors for Christmas. What the hell? <laughs> Manly. I got you a special tomato. It's a heart shape full of love. Oh, this tomato has character. <laughs> it's a heart shape. This is a cowboy Cuisinart right here. Oh, you're putting some avocado in it. Oh, that gives it some. I'm gonna make a little more pico de gallo now that we kind of see the process. Oh, this looks great. Oh, wow. 
guavo. How about some pico de gallo? The food is fabulous. I mean, it is gourmet. This week, we have John Aspra of Epicurean Cowboy as our guest chef. We have cedar plank salmon. I use the olive oil on there to, so it doesn't stick, and it just helps for a little more extra moisture, moisturize. You soak the cedar planks for about an hour and a half, two hours, and get it, get the cedar planks soaking wet and put them literally right on the fire. So the bottom side of the cedar planks will burn, but the top side where the fish is, that'll stay and it really gives it more of a smolder. This is a real rockin' party tonight. We've got tons of people, they all showed up. We have a waiting list for the painting studio. We've added a beautiful salad with all kinds of farmer's market beets. I always make it a point to go to our local farmer's market to get the freshest in produce because the taste is much more intense. It comes right from local farms. Where's your farm? Galita which is right near the downtown of Santa Barbara. It's about 10 minutes away. We're also going to have this great salad. We have all kinds of beets. We've got the sweet golden beets. Oh my goodness, I have the beets. Here we go. Now, this is a secret to a great salad, is beets with the beet greens. So that's the variety of them. They'd be called sweet golden beets. We've got the Detroit darks. And then they have, look at this, candy cane beets. we got everything here. Oh my gosh, those are huge. I love them big like that. Oh, I forgot the beats. Hold on. And the beats. Woo! We also have a root vegetable roast, and that's with Brussels sprouts, and yams, and rutabagas, and turnips, and oh, it's so colorful. And John Aspra, what are we making? <laughs> We're doing uh, cedar plank salmon tacos. The ladies are making homemade tortillas. Also carnitas. This is pork carnitas. This is the butt, the B-U-T-T -T of the pork he's had in the oven for four hours at 325 and a little liquor on the stove. He's cooked with the juices and all kinds of marinade liquids. This is as good as it comes. Then for dessert, we're gonna have baked apple pie that I made. And I like to get the big fat ones because that's less peeling for me because it's a lot of time in the kitchen cooking these apple pies. So if they're fat and big, it's quick to peel. Better with butter. Okay, who's my first victim? Joel Quaid. Oh. <laughs> no me. Mark, you're next. Ready? No. Have us some homemade bread with butter, Mark. Oh. Oh, look how nicely you're going to do it in, huh? Okay, James, what do you think of the taco? What kind do you have? I have a I, I, I have a large, a large contingent of, of male clients that I do. And I do, yes. uh, the age group for, for that would be from 40 to 60. A yeah. big guy, you think you could do that for me? <laughs> we're going to fill up our glasses with wine. We're going to take a little powder break. And then we're going to mosey for all of those people painting tonight. We're going to mosey into the art studio. break can you gotta love him but oh my gosh how much scotch has he put down stay tuned